So you started this with one with one word, which many of us will not have heard before, and that's plevined. Have you been plevined? Right. So this is the rule change that happened last week. In 2014, a court case by a woman called Susan Plevin, uh -huh. the court ruled that because the commission the bank got was so high and she hadn't been told about it, she should get some of that commission back. Mm -hmm. That's the key point. So we now have this new rule that says, remember, an insurance company sold, a, sold the payment protection insurance policy through the banks and they paid the banks to do it. Now, the new rule says if over 50% of what you were paying was commission and you weren't told about it and you had a policy active since 2008, which is many, many policies, then you drew the money back. Well, the average commission was 67%. The average commission. In other words, all of this was just paying commission. It was a worthless policy. Average. And I've not heard of anybody who ever had the commission declared to them as it should have been. Mm. So effectively, if you've had PPI since 2008, the credit card loan, as long as it was active in that time, even if you were not missold in any of the ways I mentioned, mm. you're now entitled to money back. But with Plevin, what you're entitled to back is the difference between the commission level, so typically 67%, and 50%. So this isn't going to net you 18,000, 19,000 On a £10,000 loan, this would net you about 500 quid. Yeah. But you might also have been missold in all the other ways. If you've missold in all the other ways, you get all the money back. And that's the difference. So it's now, just something else to look out for, really. Well, no, it, it literally means if you... It, are you always used to say, have you been missold PPI? Well, I'm not saying that anymore. Have you had PPI since 2008? In effect, if you've had PPI in the vast majority of circumstances, you are now owed money just by having it. Even if they sold it the right way, even if you knew what you were doing, even if you ticked the box because the commission was too high and it wasn't declared to you. And so that only started it, last then? week. If you could, right, well, that's me then. Right, so if, if we're in Plevin, if you've already claimed, or if you've already done a PPI claim and you've got your money back, you don't get it twice. Right. If you've tried to reclaim in the past and been rejected by the bank, or went to the ombudsman, which you always should go to the ombudsman, and were rejected by the ombudsman, 1.2 million people are going to have letters sent to them saying they're owed money under Plevin. And you don't have to wait for that. That should be sent by November. So even people who've been rejected in the past will now be getting money from Plevin. But I would put the case in yourself. I wouldn't wait for it if you've been rejected in the past and you definitely had PPI. There are some people who put claims in when they didn't have PPI. We're talking about those who had PPI. Mm -hmm. Then you're probably owed under Plevin rules. And if, you don't, if you've never tried before... Well, first of all, see if you're missold in any other way. Use the free tools, and I put much more information on the website so people can go through it in a lot of detail. And they will look... If you, if you said, I was self-employed, and they gave me unemployment cover, even if you weren't, they will then check Plevin for you. I so, see. frankly, if you've had a loan, a credit card, a mortgage, any debt in the last 20 years, check if you've had PPI, because this Thank could you. be real money. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Thank, Thank you. you.